Right, bait. Everyone always seems to have a lot of bait left over once they've been for a fishing session. And if you bought it from a tackle shop, you spent a lot of money on it. And if you've dug it yourself, you've spent a lot of time trying to get it. So, there's ways in which you can make your bait last a lot longer and possibly give you another fishing session or another two fishing sessions. So, what I tend to do is, what I've done here, I've opened up my two wraps. I had um, some fresh lug there. I had some rag there. Now, what I always carry in my car when I go fishing is an empty bottle. So that bottle there has now got seawater in it. I've collected that, that's seawater. What I've then done is I've sorted out the rag, all the alive rag, there they are. Look at them, they're all moving around, lovely jubbly. I've put them into a, in a, into a container, a tub there, and I've put about, I don't know, eight to 10 mil of seawater on top of them. So these will keep like that in the fridge. They'll keep like that maybe up to two weeks. Give me another session. There's not many in there, so I've only got probably a session of worms. Um, and what I will do is every two to three days, just check that water and then replace it with what I've still got left in the bottle. Again, I've done the same with the lug. I've put those into um, a, like a maggot box here. Um, little covering of water put them in the fridge as well and they will last again maybe these probably won't last as long as a rag these will probably last a week um, but well worth it especially if you're going to go fishing again and then what I do with any worms that are dead because you don't want to put dead or cut worms into these containers because they're they're they turn all the rest of the worms they make the other worms go over a lot quicker so with these I've got an empty food storage container there and I'm going to chuck these dead worms into there and then there we go we've got a couple of manky lug that are no good that goes into there lid goes on that this goes in the freezer so I'm going to stick that in the freezer and then every time I come back another couple of dead worms maybe a mackerel head all goes into this pot this pot then fills up and then in the summer, when I want to go mullet fishing, some of this can be mixed into the ground bait to add a fish scent. Or I can use this in a ground bait for bream, because bream do respond really well to, to some chum. And all of this frozen mush of scent and bait that should hopefully be pretty full by then will give a great scent trail to any ground bait or any chum that I'm going to use. So there we go. Don't throw any bait away. Anything that's dead or no good, stick it into a tub and freeze it and uh, save it for a rainy day, basically. Well, you don't want to be fishing in a rainy day. Save it for a sunny day. And then a bit of seawater collected while you're fishing into some trays. Keep them cool in the fridge to slow them down and you might get another one or two fishing sessions out of your worm. Anyway, I hope this has helped. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.